everyone. So, um, trying to get supper going. We're having the uh, broccoli beef tonight. So I've got some, uh, <laughs> what do I got here? Carrots and broccoli. <laughs> so they're all rinsed off. Uh, I got a little bit of water at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put these on the stove, cover them and steam them. And then what I'm going to do is throw them in some ice water. So um, that's supposed to shock them where it stops the cooking process. So that's what I'm going to do here. I have the meat marinating in the refrigerator. It's been there for about a half hour. So I'll go ahead and steam this stuff first. And then we'll fry up the meat and go from there. All right, everyone. So I got the broccoli and the carrots here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a skimmer and take them out of the steaming saucepan and put them in this ice water. So it stops the cooking process. And then I'm going to leave them in there. And then I'm going to start frying up the steak. Yeah, from what I understand, this is supposed to shock the process and stop the cooking. Otherwise, if you just leave it like that, then it continues to steam it. And we don't want that right now. All right, so I'm going to finish getting this in here, and I'll be back. All right, so now what we're going to do is make the sauce. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put some beef broth in there. And people use different things. Uh, I know a lot of people use oyster sauce, which I'm not going to go out and buy a jar of oyster sauce just to use it like once every two or three months that I might make this. So I'm using what I have, and what I have is beef broth, a little bit of soy sauce, some cornstarch, and some brown sugar. I know people use oyster sauce. They say it doesn't taste like oysters, but yeah, I'm still not going to go out and buy some. <laughs> um, some people use like a, a rice wine, but again, not going to go out and get it. So we're just going to use what we have. All right. And I'm just kind of winging, winging this because, yeah, I don't know what measurements are. This is the second time I'm making uh, broccoli beef. And the first time I made it in a slow cooker and it was like a partial failure. Um, I had purchased uh, frozen broccoli and they were small so this is a brown sugar um, yeah so in the slow cooker I put them in way too soon and they just pretty much just crumbled in the mush as well as the meat because I cooked it too long in the slow cooker so um, this time we're cooking it on the stove and I got fresh broccoli this time you can see you saw the the broccoli heads are a little bigger this time so hopefully it's good this time <laughs> not that the last time had a horrible taste it, it was just kind of all mush all right so we're just gonna let this sit and I'm gonna heat up the pan with some olive oil and start frying up the uh, the meat that's been marinating All right, so now I'm gonna take the meat that's been marinating and it's been in the fridge for about an hour and 10 minutes or so. I'm just gonna, just gonna sear it up and then I'm gonna take it out and put the juice in here. And I'm just going to throw some uh, pepper and onion powder in here. And I'm not going to put any salt because I do have soy sauce. And that's going to be salty enough. And if it does need salt, then we can just put it on our own plates.
Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove the, the meat from the pan. And I don't know if you can see from there, but it does have a little thick juice down there because I did marinate it with some cornstarch in it. I'm going to go ahead and get the juice for this. And the reason I took the meat out is because the juice has cornstarch in it, so it's just going to give it a chance to thicken up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw the meat back in. Um, I just let it simmer for about a couple minutes and now I'm going to throw in the broccoli and the carrots. I did go ahead and run them through the strainer. It's a lot of carrots. And I'm going to put this on a low heat and simmer, let it simmer. And in about, uh, let's see, 15, 20 minutes, I'll go ahead and start a pot of rice. Now, a lot of people, when they make broccoli beef or beef with broccoli, whatever, um, their juice is really dark. And I think that comes from, like, the oyster sauce. Not sure, but just hoping it tastes good. <laughs> And it's not like mush like the last time. Alright. I've got my burner down to about one. And I'm going to go ahead and cover it and let it simmer. Actually, I'll probably put it close to two. Because this is the burner that doesn't work right. So, alright. We'll be back. All right, everyone, so here is the end result, broccoli beef with some white rice. I do have soy sauce in my rice. Um, so I did have a little taste test before I started serving. It's definitely way better than the first time I did it in the slow cooker. Um, as you can see, it's the broccoli is still intact. It's not mush. The carrots are not mush. The meat is not mush. Uh, the sauce could use a little more thickness to it. I did add more um, cornstarch, but um, when I did the taste test, I it was a little sweet, uh, I'm guessing from the brown sugar, and then I added a little salt and pepper, and it, it kind of balanced it out a little bit, and it tasted way better. Now, when we usually get this from the, the Chinese restaurant, the juice is usually a lot darker and a lot thicker, and I don't know if that is the oyster sauce. Let me know in the comments if you use the oyster sauce when you make your broccoli beef or what you use to make your juice thicker and darker. So I don't know if I'm, I'm missing something, but add a little salt and pepper and, and it tastes fine. So, so yeah, learning as I go. Um, second attempt on broccoli beef is way better than the first attempt. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it, and I appreciate all of you. So with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.